Hi, so I've been programming and uh, I found out there were some more, a lot more segments of the Magic Sandwich show that I hadn't seen with uh, Eric Hovind and Side 10. That's what the title says his name is. And uh, the atheists there don't really get that there is a logical validity. Because remember, like, I know I got stalled on the logic thing. I'm going to continue. I'm going to go through that. It's a personal project and I'll video it when I do. But I have to have time to sit down and do the logic problems and maybe sometime soon, maybe not, whatever. But if you remember from that uh, chapter, you know, there's a distinction between a technological possibility, a physical possibility, and a logical possibility. Now, some people say God can do illogical things, but a lot of people, and classically, you know, the Christian philosophers would say that he would do logical things. And it's like, oh, so he can't. It's not that he can't. He doesn't want to. It's like his way. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, but it is kind of, in another sense, like the laws of physics for God would be logic. But anything God would do is not logically impossible. It's not logically impossible that you teleport or anything, you know. It's only logical imp logically impossible if, um, you know, it implies some um, illogical contradiction. But I was just thinking as I said that, I mean, that's hardly, like, for example, you can't make a, a guy of both Abe Lincoln and not Abe Lincoln. But, because people looking at this guy have brains, you can't make their brains think both things. So what can you do? You can make people levitate or anything else. Okay. So if God is logically if God is logically uh, possible, then Psy can say that you need to assume God when you talk about God. So, for example, that's what he's talking about, about, like, look, if you want to ask, why do you guys just say you know, we'll assume the Christian God was real. Then in that case, it is possible to get revelation from this God. And they claim to have done that. And these guys beat around the bush the whole time, but, I mean, one main attack is that it's just a form of intuitionalism. They're saying they have a feeling that has connected them to God. That's why I say you go to perceptualism. You go to perceptualism and say, well, I know what I feel. And they, eventually they have to say, well, I feel this connection to God. And you go, okay. Well, I think that's hormones, <laughs> you know? Uh, anyway, cheers.